Okay, so that looks nothing like hers, but we're gonna roll with it. Hey guys, so I'm not a big tag person, but I'm loving the tag that's going around the I tried following Blank's makeup tutorial and I love this because I've saved so many YouTube makeup videos on my favorites playlist but I just never do them. One because I don't go out of the house wearing really colorful creative makeup looks and two I wouldn't film them because it's that person's makeup tutorial you know. So this specific makeup tutorial that Juliana did has been my favorite and I've just never tried recreating it. So I think Thomas Halbert created this tag. Everyone's doing really big names like Jaclyn Hill and Nikki Tutorials. But truthfully, all my favorite colorful creative looks have always been from smaller YouTube channels. And when I say smaller, I mean like not in the millions and millions of subscribers. Here's Katie Michaelis. Michaels? Michaelis? She's my favorite right now. She has the most beautiful, colorful, creative looks. Uh, Make Me Up Missa, Make Up Tiffany J, Easy Neon, Make Up With Ja, Tasha Cuenco, and Canook, and Nook, Kaylee, Kaylee D-H-M-U-A. Trust me, I can keep going. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, it's not really a tutorial because I'm following her video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tag. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial using the new Morphe 39A palette. I don't have that palette. So the first eyeshadow that I'm using is the Peachy Brown Transition Color. Okay, Peachy Brown. The closest color I have to that is... Uh, I'm going to be using the Ace Beauty Quintessential Palette. And I'm going to be using Nutmeg. I mean, that kind of looks like the color she used. I'm blending this kind of into my crease, but kind of concentrating it right above my crease. So not really in the crease, but like a little bit more outwards. So I'm blending this on more of the outer region of my crease since... Oh gosh, that's already out of my comfort zone. I feel like if I bring any sort of color like up towards my eyebrow, it'll look dirty, but I mean, that's what she's doing, so I'll do it. I think that kind of looks the same. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm also dragging down the blending a little bit below my eye and underneath my lower lash line. Okay, underneath her eye. The next eyeshadow that I'm using is probably my favorite in the entire palette. It's like a really nice, vibrant, but still dark um, matte berry color. Okay, so for that color, I'm going to be using Rosewood, and she's putting it right below with a denser brush. Okay. And I'm going to be placing this shadow in my crease and blending it out into the transition shade. So with the transition shade, as I explained, I put it kind of on the outskirts of my crease, but with this shadow, I am putting it directly in my crease and blending it outwards. Oh god, I already took it too far in. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm looking a little crazy right now. I'm dragging the pink shade down um, along my lower lash line. Okay, and that is also out of my comfort zone. I really don't like putting... Lots of eyeshadow down here. I feel like it makes me look like a panda, but I'm following this tutorial, so I'm going to do it. And I'm not bringing it all the way towards my inner corner. I'm kind of stopping halfway. So now I'm going to be using the dark matte navy color in the palette. For that navy color, I'm going to be using Juniper. Very carefully, like packing on a pigment of this dark blue color into my outer V area and I'm making sure to carry it all the way through my crease towards my inner corner. With this brush, I'm not blending it out at all, I'm just packing on the pigment. I'm also carrying it down along my lower lash line just like I did with the other eyeshadows and again, I'm stopping about halfway. So at this point, I'm going in with a sharp angled brush, and I'm going to be using this to create like 
a double wing underneath my inner corner. Okay, so she used an angle brush. This looks angled. And like I said, just kind of extending it, um, like an extension of my lower lash line, but going below my inner okay, corner. Okay, this is really not going to go well. I suck at like drawing things, even though it's just a line. So she did it like below, facing down here, facing down. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That does not look good. <laughs> okay, I think I did the line too early, so I'm gonna try to wipe this off and start again. Okay, that was a fail. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, so that looks nothing like hers, but we're gonna roll with it. Now I'm just going back in with my berry shade and blending out the navy. So I'm just carving my crease out about halfway across my lid. I'm going into the bluish, silverish, shimmery shade. Okay, so for that color, I'm going to be using Dahlia from the Masquerade palette. So this color right here. And I'm going to be applying this on the outer half of my lid. going in with the dark shimmery green shade and applying it to the remainder of my lid. Okay, I don't think I have a dark green, so I'm just going to use the green in the same palette. Molly? Molly? This one? So for my inner corner, I'm using the lightest shade in the palette, which is the shimmery teal color in the corner. And for that, I'm going to be using Zola. Applying this right above my little line that I made down here and pretty much all throughout my inner corner and blending it um, into the green that I put on my lid. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using Inglot's Gel Liner number 77. I think it looks pretty decent. I'm going to go put on false lashes and I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm all set. I put on my usual nude and I love this look. I feel like I look like some kind of Arabian peacock princess. This look is so beautiful. I don't want to take it off, but you know, where would I wear this look? I'm so glad I did this challenge because I would have never done this makeup look and that has been my favorite makeup look for a long time. I was really scared because I really thought I would screw this up, but the only thing that really was hard for me was the under eyes. I'm not used to putting like a small line right there. But other than that, she made the tutorial really easy and explained a lot. But yeah, I mean, how pretty is this look? <laughs> Using big name. Hi, babe. You can't look at me. Can't look at you. Girl. No. You like my look? It's very pretty, especially. Do I look like a peacock? You're my little peacock. <laughs> here's bread, here's peanut butter. Thank you. It's very you pretty, like you're very pretty. 